For years, gamers who played EA Sports' popular NCAA football franchise could play as their favorite team, but not as their favorite college player. Gamers might choose to play with Florida State on NCAA Football 14, knowing their offense would be led by a star named Florida State QB number five. They knew, of course, it was Jameis Winston, because EA Sports mimicked his likeness all the way down to his height, weight, home state, and ethnicity. So why couldn't Winston appear in the game? It's the same for all NCAA athletes. They cannot profit off their name and likeness. Former UCLA basketball player and NCAA athlete advocate Ed O'Bannon brought suit against the NCAA. EA's college sports gaming slate was subsequently scrapped, and student athletes still can't make money off themselves or risk violating their amateur status within the organization. But a new bill in California is looking to change all that. So if student athletes could use their likeness to earn income, how would that work? The debate over fair ways to compensate student athletes beyond their scholarships remains as the NCAA as an organization rakes in hundreds of millions of dollars each year. California State Senator Nancy Skinner brought SB 206, the Fair Pay to Play Act, to the floor, which would allow California college athletes to earn money off their likenesses. This comes after the NCAA's May announcement that it would examine student athlete compensation in ways that could result in rule modifications. And President Mark Emmert thinks California is jumping the gun. When contrasted with current NCAA rules as drafted, Emmert said in a letter to the California legislature, the bill threatens to alter materially the principles of intercollegiate athletics and create local differences that would make it impossible to host fair national championships. If the California bill were to pass, it would prohibit public and private schools in the state, as well as the NCAA, from stopping student athletes from signing endorsement deals or accepting compensation from their name, image, or likeness. In Emmert's mind, that would incentivize the top high school prospects to sign with a school in California because they won't be restricted from being paid, creating an unfair advantage for those 23 Division I schools. But what happens if the other 49 states pass the exact same law? The NCAA and colleges and universities pocket billions of dollars a year from TV and corporate sponsorships, State Senator Nancy Skinner told Newsweek, while student athletes are blocked from receiving income for their talent and hard work. According to CNN, the NCAA brought in $1.1 billion in 2017. More than 800 million of that came from TV rights deals with CBS and Turner. Do athletes deserve a cut of that? California thinks so. And consider the case of Todd Gurley, who violated NCAA rules by accepting $3,000 for signed autographs and memorabilia. Gurley was suspended for four games of his junior season. If California has its way, that would not be a violation. Mark Emmert voiced his concerns, but legislators countered by noting that non-student athletes like music and theater majors or computer science majors aren't prohibited from earning outside income from their talents. If the bill is passed, it would be implemented in California by 2023. But as Emmert himself said, a change to the NCAA's own rules may be needed and soon. There's plenty of money to be had in collegiate athletics. Is it far-fetched to think of, say, Trevor Lawrence starring in a car commercial or Zion Williamson type as a cover athlete for a major college sports video game? Those things could happen in California and that's how it would work.